Hey everyone, in this video here I'd like to show you how to um, reinstall WordPress. Now there's two different approaches. Um, there's the quick approach where you just uh, delete the database and then recreate the database and run the installer. I'll go through that um, first and then we'll go through um, a complete uh, clean and um, reinstall after that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is log into your control panel for your hosting and I'm in my HostGator hosting account here and scroll down to MySQL databases then you locate the the user and the database that uh, that you would like to delete so to get that information if you're not sure you you can log into the FTP server of your website and then Look for the WP config file and you can download that to your computer. And then open that file because that's where the information will be stored. So you can you can see it in there. Now there's the there's the name of the database and then the name of the user. So we'll look for that. Geo1, so there it is right there. So you can delete that database. And then here's the list of users, so you can delete that user as well. Now you're going to want to create a new database and a new user. And it's a good idea if, to use the same same name that way you won't have to make any changes to this file here. So, I'll go back in here. Oops. Create a user of the same name and we'll give it the same password. And then we'll attach that user to the database. Click Add, choose All Privileges, make changes, and that's it. So then what you would do is head over to the web browser and go to the directory wp-admin slash install.php and then you can go through the um, installation process again and it will create the tables and the database that are needed. Now in the event that there are problems with the files and, you were, and it's not just the database um, that is corrupt or has a problem, you if you want to get rid of the files as well all you would need to do is you could do it right from within the control panel here you just have to go to file manager and locate the directory that you want to work with you can click select all and delete and then just um, put the files back in there and make sure you get the information out of the WP config file here. And another way to do it is through FTP software. Again, you just locate the directory that your WordPress is installation is installed and then you can just highlight one of the files, press control A and it'll highlight everything and then you just right click delete. And that's it. And then you can quickly re-upload the files. And that's it.